Hey everyone. In today's video, I want to talk about an issue some of you might have come across recently when using ChatGPT's new file handling features. Specifically, you may have seen an error message that says, failed to get upload status for slash mnt slash data slash file name. I know this can be confusing and a bit frustrating, so I'm here to break down what's happening and share a practical workaround that some users have had success with. It turns out that this error often pops up when you try to create and download files like PDFs, CSVs, or even PPTX presentations using ChatGPT's file support in the GPT-4 version. Instead of seamlessly generating and handing over the file, the system sometimes fails to confirm the file's upload status. A lot of users have shared their experiences online, mentioning that even after trying several different approaches, the problem persisted for days. It seems this bug is not widely documented on forums or by OpenAI yet, which leaves many feeling stuck. But there's a silver lining. Some clever folks discovered that you can work around the issue by having ChatGPT generate a Python script. What happens is, rather than relying on the internal file upload and download process, you ask ChatGPT to write you a simple script that creates the file on your own computer. You just copy this code into a text editor, save it as a .py file, and run it on your local machine using Python or even in a Jupyter notebook. This approach has proven successful for many, especially when you're trying to generate things like a presentation slide in PPTX format. It lets you bypass the glitch entirely by manually handling the file creation and download process. I know it can be really disheartening when a feature you're excited about doesn't work as expected, especially if you're exploring new ways to integrate advanced features into your projects. The good news is that this workaround offers a practical solution until an official fix is rolled out. Plus, it's a neat little trick that can extend your toolkit and give you more flexibility when working with generated files. If you run into this error, try prompting ChatGPT with something like, create a test text file and show a download link for it. And if that doesn't work, ask for the Python code that manually generates the file. This two-step process has worked well for many users. Thanks so much for watching and taking the time to hear about this issue and its potential solution. If you've encountered this bug yourself or have any tips or alternative workarounds, please share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and keep this conversation going. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more updates, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, happy coding and take care.